if you had a bad roommate, a roommate who's just constantly spewing negative crap all the time, that's all they had to say. You'd go in your room and you'd shut the door, recognizing that you don't have to listen to it. In our own minds, we lack that awareness. And that's not because we aren't intelligent beings. It's that nobody's told us to recognize exactly. that we don't have to engage in our thoughts. Hmm. What I found is that it's like torture for these people. They feel like they are being berated constantly by their own thoughts, those obsessive and compulsive thoughts about food and eating and their body and their size and the measuring, what to eat, what not to eat. I ate too much. I'm not enough. Like it's constant until you start to understand why it's there. Mm. And you're like, oh, okay, there it is again. I understand. I, I'm thinking about weighing myself because I think that it's the only way to stay safe, right? I think that if I gain weight, I'll be fat. What does fat mean? Fat, oh, that word, that is like the word, right? Mm -hmm. But it, we think of it as a feeling, is this like state of being. It represents a lot and it might represent something different to each of us. Mm -hmm. So for some, the idea of being fat means they're not enough. For some, it means they're a failure. For some, it means that they're disgusting or lazy. Um, so, you know, so what's under that? Okay, these fearful beliefs, fears for the future, fears that came from the past. And so, um, so yeah, there's, there's a lot of work that we do and, you know, changing the way that we see ourselves, changing the way that we're thinking about ourselves, changing the way we're engaging with our thoughts so that we can change the behaviors 